Hey y'all, so I thought I'd uh, say hey, what's up? How y'all doing? It's been a while since I vlogged. Um, it's been a bit crazy around here because, well hey, it's election season, so you can tell who I'm voting for. Um, and I'm ready for this election to be over. I'm sure you guys are too, it's been crazy. But, uh, but Steven and I just got back from uh, Disney World last week and as soon as we got back, I was back in the show and um, all weekend, crazy weekend. Some huge news came my way, which was that um, my role is now considered a principal role in the show and it doesn't really change anything. But for me, it was always a huge goal of mine to book, a, to originate a principal role in a Broadway show. And now I have, I mean, it sort of happened backwards in a way <laughs> but um it's still pretty damn cool it's like my dream has come true which is awesome um but then we got back and we decided after halloween which you know i still have my decorations out hey jack skellington um we were gonna start a cleanse on tuesday and tuesday is usually when we shoot our five things video and uh so the cleanse includes taking some herbs and no coffee, no sugar, no flour, no dairy. And I've been wanting to do one for a while now. And it uh, seems like the best timing. So it's, it's, the idea is that it's a 14-day cleanse. And uh, today is day three. But day one was the first day with no coffee. And if you follow me on any social media, you know that I really like coffee. And I didn't realize how badly I was addicted to coffee until day before yesterday because I got so sick from the withdrawal of caffeine I had to call out of the show and I was at home like flu symptoms fever shivering I threw up at one point that's how bad my uh, caffeine addiction was I slept for almost 20 hours so I'm a little behind but I will say I feel great today I feel very like even keeled, no anxiety. I'm not sick physically. I feel great. I worked out yesterday, and um, and I'm you know planning on trying to plot and plan and get some videos um, made. You know I don't know if you saw my spooky Ghostbusters video that came out last week for Halloween, but uh, I'll link it here because I'm super excited about it. It's my very first music video, and I think it came out really awesome, and. Um, I think Martin, who shot it, did a really, really, really great job. You can see I'm like breaking out a little bit. It's because, because of the cleanse, like things are like surfacing. It's so weird. God, I look terrible. Sorry. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to work on shooting some videos today and, uh, get those out for, uh, this weekend. I'm, I'm working on like really judging up the YouTube and um, I'm back in the show. I was back in the show last night. The show's going great. My best friend from high school. You guys, this is the thing. My, the girl that I dated, dated in high school was at the show last night. And whenever I'm around her, she's still one of my best friends. Um, she's married with two gorgeous girls and just so happy. But it just reminds me of how far I've come. And... I think that it's so important that we know that these moments, like the moments right now that feel difficult, are gonna pass. They're gonna pass, this too shall pass. And the people that really love us unconditionally will continue to be there in our lives. And I just felt so loved last night having her there. She just means the world to me. Um, so, that was great. And then this morning I got up, I coached four clients this morning, which can be taxing to be life coaching for that long, but I, I had to make up for some lost time. <clears throat> and I love, I love it. I love coaching so much. You know, and what I realized this morning is the reason I love coaching is I love hearing people discover their own power. I love being the, a conduit to people's own strength. And that's what happens in a coaching session. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there. I saw that there's this, I just posted it on Twitter. 
there's a master's program coming out. They're calling it Masters, Broadway Masters. You know, and these are people who who work on Broadway or who have worked on Broadway who maybe aren't continuing to work on Broadway or aren't currently working on Broadway, but they're exceptionally talented people um, who are teaching classes. But that they, you know, they teach you about being an understudy. They teach you about performing, which is incredibly valuable. Um, but they're not teaching you about the business. The business is what's tricky. Keeping your, your mindset while navigating the business is what's tricky and nobody teaches you that. Um, and I really think that that's what, what I love about being a coach is I'm helping people navigate their mindset so that they can empower themselves to be the best at what they do and to find success not just when they're booking work but when they're taking action, you know? So I love being a coach for that reason. Anyway, um, I will keep you guys posted on how these videos are coming along and I'll check you in a minute. Hey y'all, so I'm at work now, clearly. And uh, uh, we didn't get to shoot any videos because we're doing this cleanse, which I think I told you about, and uh, I fell asleep. <laughs> That's how tired I am from not having caffeine. So uh, instead, I just came to work. We're going to shoot something tonight, but I think it's going to be really good. Something timely for the election because, y'all, it's on Tuesday, and I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. It's very close right now, and we need to make a push for Hillary. I'm sorry. This man cannot be our president. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do everything I can. Um, anyway, uh, I feel very clear about that. And I'm at work. Uh, it's been a very uneventful show, but there's a group of people from California here tonight. And I'm excited to uh, take them backstage afterwards on a little tour. And um, and then go home and shoot a little video. So look forward to that. And also, if you didn't check out this PSA I did, I'm going to link it on, underneath this too. It was really interesting, and I really think you guys should share it. It's really well done, spoken word, uh, anti-Trump PSA. Anyway, so I'm probably going to sign off now, but it was a fun vlog. You can kind of see there's a lot going on, so um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon.